What's up guys, welcome to this video. I just wanted to start this off really quickly um, to kind of tell you guys about one big announcement and update you guys on it. I kind of made the decision last week, but it's like now official, so I'm in contract and everything, and I just wanted to let you know. I've officially joined the BPI team. Now, I already announced this on my Instagram, but I'm doing it now today. Instagram is more of like a live, up-to-date type thing, so, but I'm letting the YouTube people know now. I know you guys haven't seen me really talk about supplements lately, and it's honestly because I've been, I took a step back and like, after I left genetics, I really wanted to find a company that I could grow with, that, um, that I really liked the product, that I could use on a daily basis, because there's so many supplement companies out there, and I feel like a lot of them are really good, and a lot of them are like shit. I use, I'm a person that uses supplements. I do think that they help make a difference in the fact that you feel better um, with recovery and all that stuff, energy. So I do use them and I wanna make sure that I'm with a company that I can use. EPI, like I, aminos are my thing and they have so many different types of aminos. They're all delicious. They're amazing, absolutely love them. These Best BCA Shredded is what I've been using in the mornings, like before cardio. Absolutely perfect for fat burning. It gets, it gets your body primed for fat burning and also retrains that lean muscle mass so that when you're doing fasted cardio, you're not actually losing that hard earned um, muscle as well. So I've been using those every single morning. I'm gonna do a whole supplement talk in another video, so I'm not gonna go over that, but I wanna do a giveaway to kind of ramp this up and like get you guys excited about it too because I really want you guys to try the product. I love BPI, I know that they're a bigger company, I've been using them forever. They were immediately when I was like, okay, there, when there's a company that I wanna pursue, they were on my list. So I'm really super excited to like be a part of like such an amazing brand. So giveaway details, this is what you have to do. Go to the link in my bio, click on that link. I want you to go to the BPI website and I want you to find three products that you would like to try. Find those three products and comment down below, okay? Now you can order the products as well, and the, another thing I love about BPI is that their supplements are not overpriced. I'm so annoyed whenever you see people like, and I'm not gonna name names, I'm not gonna name names, but they charge just an obscene amount of money for supplements, so they're fairly priced, and then you can use my discount code, KPOW, which is like pretty standard for everything, um, and that'll get you an extra 20% off. So definitely go check that out. So click the link in the bio, Pick your three products that you would like to try. Um, comment all those three products below, and I'm, I'm gonna pick one winner, and I'm going to send them one of those three products. So, make sure it's something that you really wanna try. So yeah, BPI, I love them. I'm so, so excited for this new journey, and I really hope that you guys enjoy their products as well. Um, if you guys like BPI, comment below and let me know. But, give away, do it. Go to the website, Link below, click on that link. You can use my discount code if you want to order some products, but co comment below with your three favorite or three products that you would like to try, and I'm gonna send one person one of those three. So make sure it's something that you want to try. And I will let you guys get back to the vlog now. Are you ready? Are you ready? Saturday, and we just finished up a full day at the office, and now we're gonna go to Jason's Deli? Jason's Deli, here we come. It's fucking 150 degrees. Let's do it. Jason's Deli was pretty good. I topped it off with a little granola at the end, a little tiny handful. And now, we are at Bath and Body Works. I sent Ashton in. 
getting some wallflowers and we got to run those out to our house that still has not sold guys i'm kind of really stressing out because the past few years the houses have been like flying off the market like they wouldn't even last a week and ours has been on the market for a month now and it's not our house because none of the houses everyone else is kind of like having the same problem we are so it's not like it's just our house or something wrong with it none of the other houses in the neighborhood have sold either so it's kind of freaking me out We've got to go replace the wallflowers now making it smell good and keep it really pretty in there we have like cleaners come even though no one's living there we have the yard done every week so it's fucking eating so much of my money right now I'm really hoping it sells soon and uh, pick up some more stuff that we still have there which is unbelievable I've been going so much trying to get shit out of there and we keep like getting more and more stuff and it's like never ends so that's what we're doing right now and it's 100 degrees outside a wild Ashton Powell. Free as a bird, light as a feather. Did you get the goods? Yes. What flavor? I Snow. Thought we would, I thought we would switch it up. What? Yeah, you know, the other one didn't sell the house. <laughs> I don't know that these so are going to sell house. I got my favorite house. that they never have. What is it? Turquoise waters. Oh, that one smells good. What's the other one we get? Mahogany teak wood. Uh, eucalyptus mint. Oh, and ma mahogany teakwood. Too. Mahogany teakwood's good. It smells like um, men's cologne. It smells like Abercrombie and Fitch. What a smell do you guys like from Bath and Body Works? Comment below. Let me know. So you got turquoise waters? Turquoise waters. And it's a day of packages, including my icon meals. I actually ran out of food, so probably still gonna cook some though. Let's see what we got. I ordered lots of things from Amazon too, like cinnamon. Ugh. I always get the ground Saigon cinnamon, bomb.com. Sweet sweat, bodybuilding.com. So, I always get a free shaker because I order so much stuff. Stelly Corway because it's always like really, really affordable. BPI, best BCA shredded. These are really, really good, and I always get the fruit punch flavor. It's kind of my favorite. This is free. This I got for free. It was like a special. And then RSP Glutagen in the orange flavor is so good. And samples, pre-workout, and Icon meal. All right, so a quick snapshot of what I got. I order Icon Meals to supplement our regular meal prep. Just makes it easier, like whenever you don't feel like cooking, you know, like chicken or you don't have time, just pull one out of the freezer. So I stick them in the freezer and we eat them as we go. So Ashton's, I'll pull them out like the day he's gonna eat them and you can microwave them even when they're still frozen. Um, and then my chicken, I just let it thaw out. Like I pull it out the day before I know I need it and let it thaw out, so. I got chicken, some ground turkey, and then just an assorted set of meals here. There's this new brisket omelet thing that looked pretty bomb. And Kobe beef bacon cheeseburger, bacon wrapped chicken. That sounds really, really good. I kind of really want to try that one. And yeah, all the usual ch chicken cordon bleu. That's, I think, Ashton's favorite meal. And then the brisket grilled cheese. Really good. And we usually heat it up in a panini. So, all those are going to go in the freezer. Use my discount code. breakfast. It doesn't look pretty because I almost spilled it, but oats and topped with coconut oil and uh, about to throw some stevias on it. We are headed to work, so I'm going to pack everything in here. I just wanted to point this out because I've realized that in some of my videos, you guys might hear this go off and you might think, is she microwaving something? Like, what is that noise? It's the scent air thing that we got like, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. And it goes off, like you set the, um, you set it on a schedule and then it it blows out smells or whatever. It's kind of like, like Bath and Body Works wallflowers, except you know how wallflowers like smell absolutely amazing for like the first few days you get them and then it like fades away. This is amazing. It's a monthly subscription, it's like 50 bucks and I think you actually have to have like 
a business in order to have it because it's like what they use for like hotels and like when you walk into somewhere basically everywhere restaurants hotels bars whenever you walk in and you get that smell that like sets a premise like a gym and everything a spa these are the things that they use so you have to have a business in order to have one of these and I have a business they ship it to my business and then I just bring it home and it smells amazing guys it's called scent air so try it out if you want your place to smell amazing you don't want the smell to fade I love it I just wanted to first of all thank you guys for all the f positive feedback y'all left in like not my last video but the one b before that where I talked about like you know like rough times and like 2017 has just been like shit for me lately I talked a lot about competing and and how it didn't I didn't get as lean as I wanted to and I don't know what I'm doing with that <sighs> yes that's a part of it and yes, that plays like one of the biggest roles in how my feels are right now. But there's like tons of other stuff that go into that. So it's not just competing. Um, and I haven't set like a show date or anything like that or a real goal, you know, for fears of like maybe my body won't be ready. But also because I have so many other things going on right now that I'm afraid that even just like the stress of that stuff might affect my competition goals. Um, so there's just, it's just a million things. But I just want to throw that throw that out there so that it does make sense just in case you were like this girl is like sad about 2017 because like her show didn't work out or something no it's a lot more than that but like I feel like my life is explained through competing uh, sometimes because it's weird I don't know comment below if you know what I'm talking about because I don't even know if I know what I'm talking about and I might edit all of this out Ashton's staring at me and he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's over there like... <laughs> okay, so Sunday, July 9th. And I realized yesterday I was doing some thinking and of course my life isn't about competing, but I do think that me being on like a strict routine kind of helps me mentally, you know, kind of get with the program. So even though, you know, like everything else is kind of out in La La Land right now and I don't know you know what's going on with like business and like personal life and everything you know I don't have like a like a plan right now because everything's kind of up in the air um, I decided that like putting myself more on like a strict routine kind of like a prep routine but not with the pressure of having to be stage ready so putting myself on this strict stricter kind of routine regimen would really help me feel more on plan Slash going in like a direction so I'm taking it basically back to the basics and I always talk about journaling your food workouts thoughts whatever and I've been doing it for years I have several journals for like four years back four or five years back from when I first started my fitness journey and I go back and I read through like what I was eating what I was working out how I was feeling and it really helps me like gauge you know what sort of foods and workouts and stuff worked for me but the past like two or three months since I've basically since I've competed basically in 2017 I have been really slacking on my journaling as far as my food I I used to keep up with it like daily weekly it was I could track every single day for like the past four years except for 2017 so I'm getting back to the basics I'm starting with that and I think that that is always the first step in starting a new program, um, making the choice to make a change, whether it be fitness goals, um, fitness goals, business goals, like personal self-development, whatever it is, writing it down and putting it in pen and paper, seeing your daily progress makes a huge difference. I'm starting from scratch and we're doing it. This journal is like halfway through, but I started today and I, today, I wrote down everything that I've eaten, everything that I put in my mouth, what I did for cardio. Sunday's my rest day, but I did do some cardio this morning. And yeah, we're gonna go from there and see how that goes. So I will keep you guys posted and let you know how that's going. Also, waist training update. So uh, a few weeks ago I told you guys that I wasn't going to be wearing my waist trainer and I didn't wear it for a whole week. And then like the next week I got like really bloated and I put it on for like a few days. Then we went to Vegas, I didn't wear it. 
And then after I got sick, like while I was sick, I didn't wear it at all because my stomach hurt so bad. But after our, like when I started feeling better, I was still feeling really, really bloated. So then I wore it again and I wore it all last week just to feel better. And I haven't, so it's been kind of like on and off kind of thing. And I mean, I think if you wear it on and off, like it doesn't really make a difference in whether your waist is gonna get bigger or not. So I can't really, I'm just telling you guys, just to be honest, like the whole giving up the waist trainer thing, didn't quite work out for me. I'm still doing that and uh, I don't, I kind of want to stop, you know, so just, just a little update for you guys, just an update. So I'm gonna go drink some water and uh, eat some food because I'm kind of hungry. Hey.